I recently saw a bumper sticker that said gluten, the new Al-Qaeda. Now that doesn't sound very good. Then I went to the supermarket and saw a whole aisle that said gluten-free. There was everything from brownies to pizza. The only thing missing was gluten-free water. Even if you didn't know what gluten was, you'd want to avoid it just in case. So what is this stuff that's so sinister? Gluten is a compound protein that is contained naturally in a number of vitamin, mineral, and fiber-rich grass-based grains, especially wheat, barley, rye, and oats. It also is isolated and used as an additive to protein-enrich some foods. It is what makes dough rise and hold together and become chewier. There are a few grains that do not contain gluten. Most noticeably are quinoa and millet. For the vast majority of people, gluten is healthy and useful. However, a small but increasing number of people have a sensitivity to gluten, which is actually classified as an intolerance as opposed to an allergy. It can range from mild, almost imperceptible, to life-altering, even life-threatening full-blown celiac disease. Celiac disease, which is also commonly called sprue, is recognized as a hereditary or genetically determined autoimmune disorder. It usually commences in early childhood, and statistically, it affects women more often than men, impacting about 1% of the population. It can be mild or extremely severe and anything in between. It's a lousy disease, especially because there's no cure. However, it can be managed quite effectively. Celiac disease is the body's hostile response to gluten found in wheat, barley, and rye products, causing inflammation that damages the small intestine. The more damage that occurs, the less nutrients that are absorbed, which potentially gives rise to a laundry list of signs and symptoms that can make life truly miserable. It's basically a condition of slow starvation. This faulty absorption of nutrients can cause abdominal pain and bloating, diarrhea, weight loss, anemia, fatigue, muscle wasting, osteoporosis and fractures, hair loss, damaged teeth, infertility, cancer, anxiety and depression. In fact, the New England Journal of Medicine lists over 50 diseases that can be caused by eating gluten for those that have this condition. Does that sound like a good trade for a couple of cookies, a slice of pizza, or a piece of toast? Besides noting these symptoms, celiac disease can be confirmed through blood tests, endoscopy, and biopsy. Presently, the only effective treatment is a religiously followed 100% gluten-free diet for life, supplemented with superior nutrition, vitamins, and minerals. As mentioned, there are those who are gluten intolerant without having the full-blown celiac disease, but the recommended treatment is exactly the same. For those that are sensitive or test positive, there is precious little benefit to eliminating just some gluten, as even trace amounts can be damaging to the intestines. So it's basically an all or nothing if you have the problem. That is actually more difficult than it sounds because gluten is also hidden in a variety of products from ketchup to ice cream to salad dressings. It's even in cosmetics. In the last 50 years, the incidence of celiac disease has increased by some 400%. Why is that? It appears that it is in direct proportion to the introduction of genetically modified grains, which also alters the gluten content. Of course, the best way to deal with this sad fact is to use only USDA organic or certified non-GMO products. There's a feeling among many that the food industry is taking advantage of the public's concern over gluten and has actually generated this into the latest designer disease, peddling high-cost, gluten-free products to those that have no need. There may be some truth to this charge, so if you have any symptoms or worries, get the blood test, take the guesswork out of it, and then you'll know if gluten is your friend or your foe.